Hi, I'm Melissa Braddy and I teach the Women's Sunday School class here at Farmington First. And I'm going to share with you today the devotional for the Monday before Easter. Coming back into the city, Jesus and the twelve disciples spent the night in Bethany and Jesus became hungry. Jesus saw a fig tree that bore no fruit, though it was full of leaves. So it should have been fruitful. Jesus spoke a curse on that fig tree. Also, Jesus went to the temple on Monday before Easter and confronted people profiting off of the worshipers. He flipped over the tables on this day. Matthew chapter 21 verses 12 through 13 reads, And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you made it a den of vipers. People who heard and witnessed the miraculous healings of Jesus sang his praises, literally, that caused leaders in Jerusalem to begin looking for a strategy to kill him. Luke chapter 19 verse 48 says, But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were hanging on his words. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord God, six days before his death, your son sat with Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead, and ate dinner with his friends. Once again, your gospel tells us, Martha served and Mary knelt at Jesus' feet to anoint them with costly perfume. The disciple who was about to betray him, that it was a waste. Lord God, often we cannot discern what is best, when to pour out costly perfume for your sake, even if the world thinks it is a waste. It's hard to discern when we should be serving or when we should be resting at your son's feet and learning. Give us ears to hear and eyes to see for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.